Okay, sketching parabolas. Here is the parabola that it wishes me to sketch. Y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. And I'm going to use these steps. The first thing is happy or sad. Well, it's a happy curve if the coefficient of x squared is positive. In this case, it is. The coefficient is 1. So if it's happy, that means the curve is of that shape there. For 2, step 2, we're going to try and find the roots. And to do that, we set y equals 0 and then solve. So 0 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now I'm going to need to factorise that right-hand side, so I'm going to get my uh, grid out here, put in the values I know, so I know x squared and I know positive 8. And I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to get 8, but add to get negative 6. And the two numbers that are going to work for that are negative 4 and negative 2. So negative 4x and negative 2x. Now, factorise rows and columns means we're going to get x, negative 4, x, negative 2. Now, if that was a bit too quick from you, please do watch the other earlier videos on factorising out quadratics. So, put that into my table, to my equation, sorry. So, I've got two brackets that multiply together to give 0. So, either the first bracket is 0 or the second bracket is 0. So in this case, when we solve those two equations, x is 4 or x is 2. So they are my two roots. So I'm going to put them onto my diagram here. Right, so now on to question 3. The x value of the turning point is midpoint of the roots. Well, halfway between 4 and 2 is 3. So the turning point x value is 3. And to find the y value of the turning point, we put x equals 3 into my original equation. So it's going to be y is equal to x squared, so 3 squared minus 6x, so 6 times 3, plus 8. Put that into my calculator, and I get minus 1. So my turning point is going to be 3, negative 1. And again, I can put that onto my graph. Uh, 5, set x equals 0 to find the y-intercept, so where it crosses the y-axis. So we do that, x equals 0, so that's going to be uh, x squared, so 0 squared, minus 6 times 0, plus 8. And that leaves me with 8. So the um, y-intercept is 0, 8. Let's put that on. Lastly, I need to sketch it. Okay, so the line roughly will go through there. And if we just label the points, we've got 8 here. We've got 2. We've got 4. And my turning point is at 3, negative 1. There is my graph sketched. Right, here's our second example. Why... Um, y equals minus x squared plus x plus 20. So happy or sad? Well, it's happy or sad. It's happy if the coefficient of x squared is positive. Well, this one's negative, so it's a sad curve. Then for step two, we set y equal to zero and find the root. So zero is equal to negative x squared plus x plus 20. Now, I'm not a big fan of having coefficient of x squared as negative, so I'm going to times everything by negative one. So zero times negative one is zero. This comes x squared minus x minus 20. Now I can look to factorise this. So let's get my grid out as before. So we're going to get um, in here x squared and minus 20. So I'm looking for two numbers that times together to get minus 20, but add to get negative x, or negative 1, sorry. So times to get negative 20, but add to get negative 1. And that is negative 5 and 4, positive 4. So now let's factorise rows and columns. We're going to get x, negative 5, x, and positive 4. So put these into my equations. I'm going to get x minus 5, x plus 4. So either the first bracket is 0, or the second bracket is 0. So we're going to get x equals 5, or x equals negative 4. So negative 4, say, it's about here, and 5, we can say, is about here. Right, next is find the y value of the... Um, 3. Find the x value of the turning point, and that is the midpoint of the roots. So halfway between 5 and negative 4 is 0 0.5. Okay, that's halfway. Sub that into my equation to find out what the y value is. So negative... 0 0.5 squared plus 0 0.5 plus 20. If I put that into my calculator, you get 20.25. So my, my turning point, say, is about here, 
and it's zero. It's zero point five twenty point two five. Okay. Right. Lastly, I need to find my y-intercept. So you put x equals zero into my equation. So y is equal to going to be negative zero squared plus zero plus twenty. So it's going to be twenty. Now I need to plot my curve here. So you can do it a lot more accurate than I can. So this is negative 4. That's 5. And this here, this point here is 20. And that's my turning point there.